I'm gonna take this off! <gasps> Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I want to let you know of this cool new feature on my channel that allows me access to connect with you guys on a deeper level. So, basically it's called a member. And if you want to become a member of my wolf pack, all you have to do is pay $2.99 a month and it comes with a whole bunch of really awesome perks. Okay, so I have a lot of perks, so let me list them off for you. So, uh, the first one is exclusive loyalty badges, which will basically let me know how long you've been a loyal member of my wolf pack. You'll also get access to these really cute emojis that I'm going to be adding many, many more of. But for now, you'll get the four starter pack and I'll be slowly adding more as time passes. Each month you'll get an exclusive wallpaper that you can use for your phone or your desktop. You'll get access to member polls and chats which will basically be an easier way for us to communicate with each other. And another really cool feature is you will get discounts on my merch which is a big plus if you like buying stuff you get a little discount. And then last but not least I will be doing member only live shows. Now this isn't a feature yet but it will be coming soon so that's a um one to look forward to. So if this seems interesting to you and you guys want to become a member, just head over to my channel and hit the join button and it will prompt you on how to become a Wolfpack member. So anyways, without further ado, let's get on with today's video. Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video where I am going to be going to Sephora and buying every single face mask they have in the store and I'm going to be combining them together to create the ultimate face mask. So, I absolutely love doing face masks. I do one probably three to four times a week. So, some may say I'm a face mask. What's the word? Connoisseur. <laughs> so, some may say I'm a face mask connoisseur. I just like to say I'm bougie AI. So, as you guys know, I have a whole series where I combine literally every type of something and I mix it all together. So, I'm diving into kind of the beauty space a little bit. I don't know what's gonna happen. Perhaps my face will melt off. Or maybe I will create a magical cure that will cure everyone's acne in the world. So, I headed down to my local Sephora and immediately was overwhelmed. First basket is completely full. I don't even know how much this is gonna cost, but <laughs> there's still a whole bunch more that we have to get, so. The store is just like so much going on. There's so much beauty. There's so many little knickknack paddywhacks, give a damn dog a bone. So I didn't really know where to start. So I just started, um, <laughs> at the front. So immediately when I walk into the store, I mean they have some right on display that just hit you in the face with some glam glow. So I was like, all right, let me pop that right in there. Good, we got our first mask down. And then just around the corner, I found the most beautiful rainbow assortment of Sephora clay masks. I've never used these before, but they're so pretty, so colorful. We have to have them. And of course we need to have one of each single one because, you know, the rainbow. So I, I can't wait to see what kind of concoction this is gonna add. Honestly, I feel like they're just the same mask, but just a different color. <laughs> so I headed to the back of the store where I know they have a bunch of face mask stuff, but I passed by the register where it has all those little knickknack small versions of all the products that they have, kind of like little travel size ones, which thank goodness, because you know, smaller means cheaper. And we're gonna be spending a lot of money today. So I found a few of the sample Glam Glows, which are, again, are just such pretty packaging and so colorful. I added it immediately to the basket. So from there on out, I literally just went totally crazy and just scoured all the shelves and just kept adding things to the basket. So after finding a face mask, of course, like I would go to what it costs and uh, I would be very excited when it would be like, you know, 10 bucks, cause you know, that's cheaper and more reasonable. But then there'd be some that would literally be $60. Tata Harper has three masks. This one's 62, there's a 68, and another 68. <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna be so poor. So there was definitely one face mask out of all of them that caught my eye the most, and that was the Dr. Jart face masks. They're these weird, like, bubbly 
human baby faces on a slushy cup, and apparently it's a face mask. I am so excited to see what these turn into. I feel like it's gonna be um, colorful, I hope, and quite weird. Thank gosh. There were some of these gift sets because it just made my life so much easier. So Thomas Roth has a package of a six pack, which makes my life so, so much easier. Thank you, Thomas. So thank God that there were still some leftover from Christmas because that was so helpful. So now it's time to ring these bad boys up and see what the total is going to be and I am very scared. So just to double check that we had every single face mask in the store, I brought it up to a Sephora employee and basically- If there's anything you see that like Maybe you know of some masks that we missed. Okay. Please let me know. Yeah, for sure. And we had accomplished our mission. We collected every single face mask. So it's time to go check out. I was freaking out. I didn't know what this was going to cost. I thought maybe it would be like a few thousand. I had two completely full baskets. So I was very anxious to just know what it was all gonna come to. And Sephora, it's just literally each itemized thing. So I don't know the total until the final end. So <laughs> I'm nervous. As things are ringing up, I'm like, okay. I'm looking at this and I'm <laughs> already really shook. All right, this is literally going to cost $3,000. Um, yeah. But, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> The grand total came out to $1,170.56. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's still absolutely insane, but. Oh, so, oh my God. I'm back from Sephora with uh, a lot of loot. So let's begin mixing every single one of these face masks together and let's create some magic. Well, alrighty, so here are all of the damn face masks a thousand dollars later. Holy crap. Honestly, I feel like this has to create like the most magical face mask possible with all the different properties in each of these masks. It's got to do something crazy, right? So I guess without further ado, let's get to mixing and see what kind of crazy science experiment we come up with. So I say we begin with these beautiful Sephora clay face masks. These are like the first things that caught my eye in the store, so I'm super excited. So this one's for brightening, this is balancing, this one is moisturizing. <laughs> are these really any different? I'm curious. Revitalizing, remineralizing, what the hell is remineralizing? Detoxifying and anti-fatigue. I don't know if this is just a marketing ploy or if these do what they say. But, you know what? I want all of them! Put them in! Yeah! So I'm not going to add the entire contents of each face mask because I don't want to waste them. So, uh, I'm going to just put a little bit of each. Alright, first one in. Ooh, pretty poopy. They all smell the same. I'm just gonna put all these in there and make a beautiful rainbow clay mask. Pretty. Okay, so all the Sephora clay masks are in. They all look very similar. Some of them have different textures and consistencies, but they all did smell exactly the same. So now that we have those in there, let's move on to, how do you say this? Boscia? Boska? Boskia. I don't freaking know. Let's add these in. I'm super excited to see what this pink one is, but this was a three pack. I love the packs. Just made my life so much easier and saved me lots of money. We have green tea, a black mask. Wait, two black masks. Just kidding, those are the same. So in the Boshia, Boska, whatever the hell your name is, black mask, a green tea mask, and a sake mask. Let's put the sake in there. Wait, I wanna smell it actually. It smells good. All right, let's put it in. Drizzle, wow! Adding in different textures and consistencies, this is gonna be good. Actually, you know what, I think because these are so small, I can add like literally the whole packet of it. There we go. I hope this green tea one is green. That will make me so happy. <gasps> it is green. Come on out, come on out. 
This is a very, ooh, pretty. <gasps> wow, what do you smell like? Mmm, that smells good. The last one is the black mask, which is a pretty intense mask. If you guys have never tried a black mask, they're kind of painful coming off. Darkness, kind of looks like chocolate sauce. Oh my God, is this making anyone else hungry? It's kind of like mint chocolate drizzle ice cream. Okay, so the last Bosha one is the pink one. I hope this is some hot pink craziness. Ooh, it is. This is so pretty. They're making art over here. All right, the next one are the Origins clay masks. Let's start off with this gorgeous, relaxing, and hydrating face mask. It has cannabis, sativa, what? Is this legal? I guess we are in California. Let's just put some of that weed mask in here. No big deal. Let's do some of the retexturizing mask. A 10 minute mask to rescue problem skin. Guys, I feel like with all these like promises that these masks are making, I'm going to create something that's gonna make me a bajillionaire. And last but not least is the activated charcoal mask, which I actually have this one. I've used it before in the past. Guys, oh no, I forgot to add the lime green Sephora one. It's all been mixed together, it's fine. They weren't together. Next, I wanna add the fresh face mask. So, let's start off with their clay one. This is an Umbrian clay. Ooh. Okay, so this one is a black tea instant perfecting mask. Oh my gosh, this looks so soft. What the hell? Put that in there. Next one is a Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. We'll just scoop some of those little chunks. Oh! Oh! Okay, so this one is a sugar face polish. So I guess that is not a face mask. This one is a rose face mask. Infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones. Oh wow, that is very rosy. That looks like a jam. Definitely haven't had a texture like that yet. Just all right, so I found a couple of Sephora ones. This one is another mud mask. Ooh, it's thick. Oh, it smells, it smells like pepper. Okay, next is a gel mask from Sephora, extract of sea fennel. Don't know what the hell sea fennel is, but, ooh, pretty. I just wanna lick that so bad. All right, up next is Tata Harper. The clarifying mask is the ultimate weapon against any skin imperfection to get your skin back to looking healthy, balanced, and clear. Fabulous. Let's just drizzle some of that on in there. Ooh, look at that. It's like a little tentacle coming out. Next is the <laughs> resurfacing mask for an instant glow. Baby, give me that glow. Jiggly, may I call you Jiggly? We have one more Tata Harper. This is a purifying mask. We have the clarifying, not to be confused with the purifying. Ooh, I really like the smell of that one. It smells like tea. We haven't done a vitamin C mask yet. Ooh, that's a pretty packaging. Let's get that on in there. All right, moving on to a classic staple, which is the Glam Glow masks. So I have five of these masks. Let's just throw them all in. I'm excited about this. Actually, the Glam Glow Good in Bed. That seems like it's gonna smell real good. Oh my god, it smells so good, my mouth just started watering. Mmm, get on in there! It feels more like a cream than a mask, which makes me think that it wasn't. Oh no, it's a night cream! Okay, actually, I'm gonna scoop that out because, you know, we gotta play by the rules. Let me just, uh-oh. All right, yo, get out of there, you little. Uh oh Ew, it looked like baby vomit. Okay, that's gross. This is the firming one, which smells so delicious. Oh my god, I think I can actually just drizzle it in. Oh, so pretty. It's like a beautiful, like, silver metallic color. I literally could drink that. The last one is the Super Mud, which is their clearing treatment. Minty. Minty freshness. Okay, so the next mask, which is one of my favorites, is the Tatcha Vitamin C mask. Oh no, Violet C. What the hell? What the hell is a Violet C? This one also smells 
amazing. It's a beautiful purple color. Okay, Origins has this Clear Improvement Charcoal Honey Mask. I've never seen this one before. That is beautiful. Holy crap, it's like gold. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Next is the Kate Somerville Acne um, Eradicate Mask. So I actually have this as well. It's a cute little pump. Super easy. Fabulous. Next is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Mask. Do you actually smell like watermelon? Oh my, hell no. This smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh, yes. I can't wait to see what this mask end up smelling like. Look at this, this looks so wild already. Okay, next is from Caress. This is a resurfacing mask. I've never heard of this brand before. Interesting, don't love that color. I don't like the pretty colors. This one is the Laneige Sleep Care Water Sleeping Mask in Lavender. You don't get any promo. Okay, next one is the Tarte Tight and Bright Clay Multi Mask. So is there two in here? Oh, whoa, there are two. Alrighty, so the next what? The next mask we are going to add are the Doctor Jart Weird Baby. Colorful faces. Now I'm super excited about these because they look very colorful and very interesting. So I'm going to mix this beauty of a weird face one. I don't know what color it's gonna be. Is it gonna be green? Is it gonna be purple? I don't know. So you open it up and inside there is a little spatula. And then you have two different things that I guess you have to mix together, shake, and then I'll just add it to our concoction. So let's do it. Ugh. Oh, it's green. It's really dark inside there, but you can kind of see that there's like a green liquid forming in there. So I'm gonna take the spatula, mix it up a bit, and then we do the same to all the rest. Ew, it's like foaming at the mouth. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this is so disappointing. I thought it was gonna be bright green. It's like pale, pale green. Oh, it's gloppy. Well, get in there. This one is supposed to be blue. Girl, that's white. Oh, this is the brightening one. Supposed to be orange. Well, oh, that one has more color than the others. It's just like a very faint, faint color. It's a little misleading with the packaging. I will say that. I feel very clickbaited. This one is a firming booster, and this is supposed to be purple. This is supposed to be green and a purifying boost. And last but not least, the Instant Pore Minimalizer, which is the only one that copied its color, which is supposed to be gray, and that one works, whatever. Those freak me the hell out. These are so weird. All right guys, so we are nearly done. The last ones are the Peter Thomas Roth ones, which have a very, pretty assortment of colors. So let's get into these and then we are done. Okay, so the first one is this beauty. It's weird, it's called a mineral rich atomic heat mask for smoother, younger, healthier looking skin. The hell, it's like a pomade. That is sick. Oh me, oh my, okay. Just plop that on in there. Next is a pumpkin enzyme mask. Oh my God, it smells so good. It literally smells like pumpkins, like fresh pumpkin. Whoa, this Irish more mud is like very thick black. Oh. Ooh, this pretty pink one is a rose stem cell bio repair gel mask. It's like a jellyfish. Next is a cucumber gel mask. 
which is good for hydrating. All right, guys, we are down to our last ingredient, which is a 24 karat gold mask. This one is just pure luxury lift and firming mask. Wow. I'm gonna add a little extra liquid luck. Well, you guys, there it is. That is 50 different face masks combined into one mixture. I am super excited to mix this up and I am terrified to put this on my face, but we gotta do what we gotta do, so let's get to mixing. Guys, this is a big moment. I have no idea if there's gonna be a chemical reaction or what's gonna happen, but I'm excited to find out. Ew. Oh my god, it literally, I'm not even feeling this with my hands, but through this spatula, it is the weirdest texture ever. Oh my god, this kind of makes me sick. This is so gross. It looks chunky. It looks like cat vomit, honestly. Okay, I'm going in for a smell test. Oh, that is pungent. It smells like freaking chemicals. I... <laughs> Definitely do not want to apply this to my beautiful, gorgeous face. Literally, my skin has been doing so well recently, and I'm potentially going to be destroying that right now. Or maybe I'll never age after this. I feel like all the ingredients we put in were very smooth. So where did these chunks come from? Because there's a lot of it. I guess probably the clay, maybe? Okay, so <laughs> I'm really doing this. I put my hair back because I don't want my hair falling out too, but this is the final result. It is a gray, chunky blob. <laughs> and I want to do it! Here we go, guys. Wow. It's not burning yet, so we're good. It's still very chunky. I wonder if the rubber mask is gonna like make it so it turns into rubberiness? Maybe that's where the chunks came from, is probably the rubber started congealing. <laughs> I also don't know how long I'm supposed to put this on my face for. Most of them said like 15 to 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go with that, but also I'm afraid to put it on my face for that long, but I also wanna get the full benefits of everything that I was promised from all these products. I'm not feeling any burning sensation at all, which is really good. It's all just like very cooling. Two minutes from now, <laughs> my skin peeling off. So far, so good. I'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys and see what the results are. So, BRB. All right, guys, so it has been 15 to 20-ish minutes. And honestly, I'm surprised. I really thought it was gonna be super itchy, super irritable, but it feels pretty much just like a regular cooling face mask, nothing too crazy, which is extremely surprising since there's like, I don't even know how many ingredients are in this concoction. Honestly, I think I invented something that could be revolutionary. I'm ready to take this off and reveal my true beauty. Are you ready? <laughs> Please let there be skin underneath there. It's a little tacky. Okay. So far, so good, I think. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's actually kind of really red. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Quick. I need to take this off. Okay. It's kind of calmed down. All right. I'm like going through all the emotions right now. I'm like, it's good. It's bad. I don't know. What do I do? I'm not seeing lasting damage, so I think we're in the clear. Thank goodness. All right, so it's all removed. Oh, maybe there is something to this. My skin feels really soft. Let's take a deeper look at my pores. Let's see what real magic has been done. The touch feels good, but let's get it nice and close. Pores look very small. I'm a little upset because some of my pimpalanias did not disappear like they were promised. I'm not mad by this. Honestly, I feel like I need to bottle this up and sell it. Do I recommend mixing all these face masks together for $1,000? No. 
I do not. I think I could have gotten this result with any one of those masks. So, <laughs> this is what a thousand dollar face mask looks like. But I had so much fun shooting this, and I wanna know, do you guys have any other ideas of things I should mix everything together so you guys don't have to, and I can waste my money doing it? Let me know in the comments down below. So guys, I am actually going to be doing a giveaway of all the leftover face masks that I obviously use a little bit of. So if you want to be one of the five winners to win a face mask grab bag, all you have to do is be one of my subscribers. So hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification button so you get alerted every time I post a video. And then hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know why you deserve to have the face masks. And leave one of your social media handles so I can reach out to you. Until next time, I will see you next time. Good damn bye.